Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. So today I am actually going to be using the watercolor method to dye my hair with using a permanent box dye. Yes girl, permanent box dye. So y'all already know what the procedure is. Go on ahead, pour your water. That's the, actually the dye that I'm using. Um, Revlon Color Silk. I ended up pouring too much water into the mixture. So like in a few, y'all are going to see that I'll be pouring another bottle. But listen to that sound. Isn't it so satisfying? Um, so yeah, that's just me pouring the bottle in my good old spoon and mix it up mix it up mix it up like it's soup or something oh this is the other box um color that i was talking about and it's also a permanent hair dye um and i just did it like you know i would be doing some bundles or something adding my developer and so yes girl i had to be extra with the little slow motion and everything <laughs> um so yes that's the bundle from my collection um, I don't even remember what inches that is. I literally had to make this video super super quick. So bam, ew. <laughs> um, so yeah, go on ahead and unravel your bundle. Um, whatever you have. And I believe this um process it could work on like some synthetic hairs, but it has to be, I guess, one that has a higher percentage of human hair in it. So yeah, go ahead and dip it in there. And I just kind of just dropped everything in there. I don't know why I dipped the ends. I don't know, but go ahead, um, swirl it around, make sure it um, touches each strand. And you want to go ahead and set your timer for 30 minutes. Um, because again, it's water. So I think after a certain time, it's just going to stop. So yeah, 30 minutes later. Ring. <laughs> um so yeah remove your plastic and be careful because at this point it's still steaming hot so um just be very careful when you're dealing with this you do not want to get burnt by some hot water so i usually do the paper test before but i just wanted to see how much water it really absorbed because again this is a permanent box dye so the hair pretty much sucked up all that water like i said be careful this is y'all can see the steam like y'all seeing what i'm seeing right now so be careful like i was so far away from that sink y'all like <laughs> you ever seen a meme where they say when the oil start popping and how far away you are from the sink like the the oh lord the stove <sighs> y'all just bear with me so go ahead and shampoo your bundle i chose to shampoo it because um it's not like a regular dye it's a permanent dye so i wanted to stop um it from activating go ahead and put your conditioner on it rinse it out and yeah um that's pretty much it the end result that i had i was actually pressed for time making a wig for my client so that's why the video like is gonna stop here um and yeah, everything came out great. I didn't get a picture of the wig I was working on. I was pressed for time. Thanks for watching my video.